What's up, guys? Jim here, DJ Envision, coming at you from unityofnoise.com. I uh, just wanted to make a video tutorial on organization. Uh, I got a lot of friends around me that are still using uh, regular crates inside of Serato, and basically I've showed them ways of using smart crates, and everybody has been super stoked on it and super stoked about how much easier it is to organize your stuff using smart crates and allowing the software to basically do all the work for you this is the new Serato DJ Pro for those of you who might not have it yet. It came out, I think, about a week ago or so. So the first thing I want to go over is basically just organizing the files on your computer. Um, Serato, iTunes, Tractor, all of these programs don't care that you have all of your music in separate folders inside separate folders organized by genre, etc., 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 um, at least not that I've ever noticed, correct me if I'm wrong, but what I decided to do, basically I went and took all the folders that I had from all the different genres I had in my DJ music folder, I took all the files out of them and I dumped them all into the exact same folder. So as you can see here, this is just a folder with a huge amount of music in it and it's just one folder. Every time I download new music, I drag it all into this folder. I don't worry about separating that folder into subgenres or anything like that. I just put it all in the same place. At the end of the day, Serato is going to see all of this, and Serato is going to read your ID3 tags, and it's going to organize stuff by the tags that you have on the, the music itself via the artist or your genres or however it is you want to tag your music. All right, so what I want to explain here is how to start over. If you are currently using a version of Serato with a ton of crates and you want to completely wipe everything clean and start completely over with this system, then I'm going to walk you through step by step and how to do that without actually losing any of your music. This process will take up um, twice the amount of hard disk space that you have currently storing your music. So let's say you have 50 gigabytes of music, you're going to need an additional 50 gigabytes of storage space on that same drive in order to do this because you're going to be duplicating every single file you have into a separate folder. Uh, the reason to do this is basically to have a backup because if something gets screwed up or whatever, you don't have to worry about losing all of your music. Uh, I also suggest just backing up the computer, if your music's on the computer or if it's on an external hard drive, I, su I suggest just backing it up in general. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, renaming our old music folder. This is the music folder I am currently have all of my music stored in. This is the music folder that Serato is currently seeing all of my music from. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this folder. Now I'm just going to rename it as DJ Music underscore old. Now immediately when I do that, if you go back into Serato and try and launch a file, it's, a, it's instantaneously going to start telling you that it doesn't see any of your music anymore. Okay, so this isn't to scare you. This is just so you know that this folder has been renamed. So Serato thinks that all that music is gone, but it's actually still there. So step two would be to get rid of this database completely. Now, all you have to do in order to do that is select all, click on any one of the songs in your window library here. Again, select all, command A, and then hit control, delete. Now what this does is this deletes all of the music out of Serato's database. This did not delete any music on my computer. As you can see, all the files, every one of my music files is still right here. Nothing has gone anywhere, okay? So again, don't be alarmed. So now you have a completely fresh database, totally blank, 100%, okay? So now in the same area where you were keeping your old music folder, you wanna create a new music folder and title this whatever you want. In my case, I'm gonna title it DJ Music because that's what I keep my stuff in. So now after you've created a new folder, you wanna go into your old music folder and inside each folder you want to copy all the files and then paste them into the new folder eventually what you're left with is an old music folder that has all of your subfolders the way you used to organize all the music still there you haven't removed anything you just copied it and pasted it all into this new music folder and at the end of the day when you're all said and done it'll look like this it'll just be every file you have to dj with will be all in one giant folder all right, so now we have our new music folder that we're working with. And 
all we need to do is go back into Serato and drop all this music into Serato at once and call it a day. So we go back into Serato, we go to files, and we scroll to the area where our music is. In my case, it's DJ Drive, DJ Music. Then I just drag DJ Music and drop it on all. Now this is gonna take a little while, so I will just jump forward and I'll be right back. And we're back. And all of my music is back in Serato. As you can see, I drag all this and move it around. This is every bit of music that I once had back in Serato, save and sound. Again, I have two folders here. Uh, this one's containing all the music that I dumped in the same folder. This one had it been full of a bunch of subfolders with music in it. This is where it would be. Again, the reason why I say to do that is simply because you keep the old ver music around until this process is completely done to make sure that you didn't lose anything. Uh, I've never lost anything in this process, but people make mistakes. It happens. So backups are always a good thing to have. So as you can see, all of my files are still here. If we were to look at some of my smart crates, um, all of everything is still sitting here exactly where it was. You know, everything's good. We're good. All right. So in part two, we'll get into smart crates and how to use them. Cheers, guys.